Body of things. She's already. Don't jump to conclusions so easily, Franz. She will be given a new life. <laughs> a new life? As what, a clone? Droid? Or maybe something like you? Isn't it rather superficial to cast judgment on what life is or is not? It is time. Let us go. Zeke, I pray you know what you're doing. I'm gonna bring her home. Guess you saw all of that, huh? Who is that with Zeke? Just an old acquaintance. Nothing more. She said there's still hope for Shirley. Is that true? <sighs> From what I know, aberration is irreversible. The only thing we can do for the afflicted is to send them on their way. As humans. But Shirley... I don't know how they're planning to save her. But even if they did... Would Shirley still be the same Shirley that we knew? You look like you have something to say. Hmm. Zeke sent you to see that person, right? You knew? I should have known that's what Zeke would do. So what did they tell you? I didn't exactly get to meet them. I only requested their help via a communication device and they said that they would. I also found something that looks like an experiment log. It mentions something called the Chrono Chamber. The Chrono Chamber? Ah, uh, who's Zeke looking for? The leader of the heirs of Ida goes by the codename Sage. Even within their organization, he's shrouded in mystery. If he really was on Astra, everything that's happened so far would be the least of our troubles. <sighs> Let's head back to the shelter. We have to tell them about what's happened. Wait, Mr. Franz. There's something I need your help with. What do you want? It's about my identity. I... might be someone from Hykros. What? So... Uh... You lost your memories, right? Well, but the scrapper on the Omnium Tower said I have access to Hykros' weapons. And Shirley said you might be able to help me find out who I am. Other than you and Shirley, who else knows about this? That's all. Shirley, she... I don't think she managed to tell anyone else in time. <sighs> hmm. Alright, I think I get the picture. I'll take you to Hykros, and they should be able to establish your identity if you really are one of them. Don't mention this to anyone in the shelter for now, though. It's a delicate time, so don't go looking for more trouble. Okay. Understood. Shirley and left with someone. Why didn't you stop him? Stop him? You know him better than I do. Hmm. So who exactly was it? The heirs of Ida. They claim that they can save Shirley. For Zeke, the choice was clear as day. Heirs of Ida? The crazies that tried to overthrow Hykros? How did they get involved in this? Because Zeke and Shirley's parents were once members of the heirs of Ida. What? Why hasn't Zeke mentioned this before? What happened to his parents was a meaningless tragedy. They were merely victims of the conflict between Hykros and the heirs of Ida. Surely Zeke wants nothing else now but a calm and peaceful life, right? But now, Shirley's become the heirs of Ida. 
your conversation. Will you really be able to bring Shirley and Zeke back? Mia can sense the internal emotional circuits surging. <laughs> Shirley and Zeke are important compa- and check it out. Shelter's energy supply runs low. But today... Is something wrong? Don't worry. It may be just a glitch, or a dispatch error. Or someone touching the wrong button. I'm gonna open up a space rift that leads right to the upper level of the Tower of Fantasy. But only for a brief moment. Stay close. I come from Astra, and I'm here with Franz. 
Astra Shelter, area code HD501. Franz notified us about your visit. Come with me. for the first time, and engaging information exchange. Welcome, young one. I'm Klima, commander of the District 9 Executors. Captain Klima, the Omnium Tower. Did something go wrong with it? The heirs of Ida tampered with the energy transmission program. It's causing the five Omnium Towers to send their stored energy back to the Central Tower. The Central Tower has a finite storage capacity. Exceeding it could dangerously overload the system. This looks to be a rather serious problem. Do we have any quick fixes? As a safety precaution, we had to vent excess Omnium to the surface at the cost of causing a certain degree of radiation damage. This is not a permanent solution. <laughs> Just... Welcome to Hycros. I'm Elric, Archon of District 9. Captain Klima has informed me of your situation. I'm delighted to see the return of one of our steamed executors. As for Zeke, Hycros will relay the latest intel to you via Franz and provide whatever assistance we can render. Thank you, Archon Elric. Franz said that you lost all your memories upon your rescue. Is that so? Are you ready? Research. I hope you'll make good use of its power. <laughs> Looks like you two are getting along fine. Geezer's been treating you. Franz? Hey, have you told them everything? Not entirely. Same old you. Everything's a secret, yet you still want people to go out on a limb for you. There is no confirmation of what happened to our returned executor. We found an unknown string of virus in their suppressor chip during the inspection. Looking at the bigger picture, our visit wasn't completely in vain. At least you're back to being an executor, and Hykros even promised to help search for leads regarding Zeke. It's obvious that Archon Elric and the others still don't entirely trust you. I mean, 
They couldn't risk opening up to you before making it clear where you're really from. Don't let that bother you. I understand your concerns, and I thank you greatly for your assistance, Mr. Franz. Come on, it was nothing. We still have plenty on our plate. I'm about to head back to the Astra Omnium Tower and see how things are faring there. Palu has already sent me a bunch of messages asking what is going on. I'll explain to Palu everything that went down here, so don't you worry. If you want, you can take a look around here. After all, you are an official member of Hykros now. I'll be waiting for you on top of the Astra Omnium Tower. Don't take too long. like experiencing a piece memory extractors are able to your memories, I mean. Yeah. Thanks for asking. No, no. I don't want my willful request to trouble you in any way. Actually, it doesn't matter if you don't want to accompany me. Surely. We don't have to act like strangers. Sorry. That's not what I meant. I... I just don't know how I should face everyone, given who I am now. Am I nemesis? of the heirs of Ida? Or... You're my friend, Shirley. We still have a lot to do together. I promised to help you find your brother, and I promised everyone in the shelter that I would bring both you and Zeke back together. We... still have a lot of things we need to do together. Yes, we've been through a lot together, and we've lost many things that belong to us. We'll get... Yes, I'm... Same here.
Directional parameters were corrected, but the results still need verification. So, can the stability of the current anchor points be maintained? I've calibrated the orientation device of the space rift. As long as it's not overloaded, there shouldn't be a problem. Oh, greetings, Executor. We have successfully opened the dimensional passage to the Vera region. A squad from the Executor Order has been dispatched to investigate. The Vera region was under the jurisdiction of Hykros District 7 back before the Cataclysm. A couple of years ago, Luke's squad went to re-establish contact with the area. Now, District 7 has expressed willingness to work with us. The mission this time is to ask you to act as Shirley's guardian as you accompany her to the Vera region. Shirley is keen to find any trace of her brother. You could save yourself a heap of trouble if the locals were willing to help. Ah, well, Shirley still isn't fully stable after all. We need someone we can trust to go with her. I know I really shouldn't trouble everyone with this, but I just worry about my brother so much. I heard through the grapevine that the Vera region is the home of the invasive creature called Grayspace Entities. They're a serious threat to the local ecology and human safety. We are currently in discussions with District 7 over how to cooperate in tackling this Grayspace Entities threat. Until we have the situation under control, however, be sure to exercise extreme caution. Dr. Claire has already calibrated the Space Rift parameters, so you and Shirley are good to go at will. The headquarters of District 7 is in a huge city known as Muroria. You should ask their Archon, Larson, for help. Making such a long-distance transmission is no easy task. You should prepare yourselves. for asking. Oh, that's good. I was worried that such a long transmission would have some unpleasant effects. What is this place? This is the Silver Coast Research Station under District 7. They've managed to re-establish contact with Asperia with this equipment. We're in Mororia now? Well, this research facility is actually in the north of the Yellow Rock Desert, but Mororia is not too far. Look, right over there! I'm Eva, the director of the Silver Coast Research Station. On behalf of District 7, a warm welcome to you both. Arkin Larson has been informed of your arrival, and you are free to travel to Meoria headquarters as you please. However, Technician Baru has detected a potential space-time fluctuation near the research station. <sighs> I hate not knowing how long I'll have to wait. Pepper, do you know how many executors were dispatched from District 9? Hmm. Apart from the Mook Squad that was stationed here a couple of years ago, there was also Meryl, Zero, Huma, and Samir. Oh, and now you, of course! However, everyone's in this super important meeting in Mororia. I think they're discussing the best response to the Grayspace Entities. I'm just here as part of your welcoming committee. Grayspace Entities? We heard Archon Elric mention them too. 
Yep. They're Maroria's biggest problem at the moment. I don't know much about them though, so maybe you're better off asking Director Ava. Director Eva, we've got some questions. What can I do for you? Ask away, and I'll do my best to answer. This is a scientific facility focused on researching Omnium technology. Due to potential safety issues, it had to be located away from the densely... The MOOC squad brought us a lot of invaluable insights. And we know that District 9's Omnium Tech research is light years ahead of us. So I'm excited for the possibility of future collaboration. The reason for this space-time fluctuation has not been confirmed. Apart from that, a type of powerful gray space entity known as an Abyssant has been found able to generate space-time fluctuations. While... Dr. Eva, we have a situation. The spatial fluctuations are greatly intensifying. It's a temporal anomaly. This shouldn't be possible. Buru, report to HQ immediately and request support. I'm trying. The fluctuations are generating too much interference. We can't get a clear connection to headquarters. Keep trying. Security close blast doors. Power force field. Activate security droid. Okay. What happened? The cause of this space-time fluctuation is a rare, powerful abyss. Get ready for Gray Space Entity's assault. But at present, we are unable to contact HQ or request external assistance. If they launch an all-out assault, it would be catastrophic for us. We'll help fend them off. Follow me. System warning. Red alert. Red alert. All non-combatants, please go to the nearest safe zone and remain there until further notice. Look over there. It's the Abyssin Symbiosis. You have to hurry. repelled them temporarily. Buru's detected several unstable space-time rifts nearby, so this is far from over. Has communication with Miroria been restored? We still have no means of contacting Miroria headquarters. I can only hope that they noticed the space-time fluctuations over here and proactively sent the support. We don't have enough energy to maintain the force field for much longer. Pepper, you stay here and help defend the facility. I'm going to try to bust out of here with Shirley and go get help from headquarters. You sure that's a good idea? We don't have a lot of options. It's the best of a bad bunch. Thank <laughs> you. 